Hello and welcome to another daily technical analysis here at CM Trading. Now let's start by looking at the major currency pairs and we'll start off with the euro dollar. Now yesterday as you know with the euro dollar we were in a long mood. We still are actually in a long mood but that long mood is going to take a bit of time to eventuate. The reason it's happening is as you can see here is the resistance line and here are a few support levels down here at the bottom. So what the market might be doing is actually a bit stalling so that be going sideways um, for a little bit until it breaks out sideways or down is also okay so what we want to really do is make a slight adjustment right here okay and possibly if the market comes down to around here well you, you can't see that obviously let's just bring this up a little bit here we go if the market pops its head down to around these levels around here 1.0530 region is actually a pretty good spot if it gets down there but what I'm saying is that if the market does a double bottom or slightly lower we want to go long all right so I hope that's pretty clear that's my outlook on the euro dollar and that can happen um, also next week so it doesn't have to happen right now this week or today or tomorrow but I'm thinking um, that's where we're going to start getting towards so by next week okay so by next Tuesday next week today let's say the market might probably start begin to pick up from the bottom so around here what we want to do is a u-turn now the opposite goes for the dollar franc as you can see there's a bit of an accumulation here with the dollar franc I did say the market I mean last week I did say the market might do one last move up before it shorted that's still the case let's just get rid of this the reason I say that is let me get rid of this as well is because it does have that potential to go slightly up in fact what we can do is make a little adjustment here there we go okay one last up move and then start to short if it does that that's where you want to sell so if it gets its head up there this is where you need to sell Okay, I think that's a good sell level there. So keep an eye out for that. And obviously, like I said, with the euro dollar, the opposite will happen to that. So we'll either see a double bottom on the euro dollar, okay, a double bottom, or slightly lower before we pick up. And on the dollar franc, what will happen is we're already at a double top region here. What we might see is a slightly higher around here and then shorting it off. So just be mindful, pound, dollar. Now the pound, dollar was in a triangle yesterday, as you can see. And here anything could have happened. And this is what exactly happened. It broke out. Now what we want to see with this currency pair is, um, let's take a look at the dailies now that it broke out. What we want to see now is after this breakout, a pullback and then going long. Now what we need to do is to be a bit smart and possibly say to ourselves like we did yesterday that this could be the beginning of a new trend as you can see all right nice up move pull back to 38.2 and bang tomorrow it was a beautiful up day so what we might be seeing now is the pound actually starting a long trend and that's not a bad move at all let's take a look at the dollar yen dollar yen i think same as the dollar franc yesterday i did say if we go below this 110.45 region we need to go short i think the market is still good to go short it kind of broke that line here that i had drawn yesterday and now it's retesting it same kind of scenario as with the dollar franc if it moves its head up just short it and I think that level is going to be around here if you already shorted it I would keep it because I think by next week 
um, we'll be going short on these currency pairs, the dollar yen and the dollar franc, and we'll be looking to go long on the euro dollar. Okay, because this um, this currency pair just moved up quite a lot, as you can see. Okay, and it's gonna need a pullback. And if you look at these pullbacks levels that pullback levels that I drew, it has some good good potential to come back where we can um, you know really put some 200 to 300 points in profit there. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Um, let's take a look at the dollar Canadi. Now then, once again, good pullback we're expecting here. Yesterday I drew these lines, if you recall. I also drew this channel, and I did say this region here was really good for support. So within the next few days, we might see the dollar Canadi coming around here. But I think dollar Canadi is kind of good to buy, um, good to buy with you know in in going up again so if I just make this a four hour chart you'll see what why I say that okay this level here is, a, is that support level that we're talking about and it's got such a nice little ability to go up from here and make a u-turn that's really quite worthwhile following um, indeed let's take a look at the Aussie dollar Yesterday we were long on this one, and that was the resistance line. As you can see, the market went slightly above and is now pulling back for a good buy kiss and a buy reaction here. I think the Aussie dollar also, just like the Euro dollar, will want to make up for some of the losses it did over here. And for it to do that, I think we're going to probably have, just like in the Euro dollar, I'm anticipating um, a double bottom or a slightly lower bottom where we can then buy and move forward again. Um, let's take a look at <coughs> gold. Here's gold. We're in this sideways channel here. I think gold was, um, last week I did say 1,200 was good to buy. The market kind of moved up from there. I still see this as a target up here. Um, however, will it do that? after another dip or will it just start going up um, going up from here because it's in the middle of a channel it's a bit of a risky area <clears throat> it's a bit of a risky area because it's in the middle of the channel but what you might want to do is just keep an eye on it and if it does pop back again this week okay kind of like pop back again it's I think good to buy once again um, and finally, oil. Now, with oil, I did say this was the goal here, and the price is there, as you can see. Um, from last week, we had the SPY level. I did say you could follow this up, and this was the target. And it kind of got there, which is just as well. So if you took your profits, great. Um, on top of that, nothing really much to add. Um, what we're going to try to do is actually this week... Um, trade with slightly smaller lot sizes um, simply because two things I think because um, the lack of important news coming out the import the lack of important economic data coming out is one factor that's not going to really shift the markets a lot um, the second thing is I think the market will want to establish a nice support base or a resistance high before it starts um, buying um, or selling from resistance levels so I think that this week we might have a sideways down or a sideways up market depending uh, on the currency pair so sideways down for a euro dollar um, and for example for the dollar franc dollar yen sideways up you know just touching on those resistance levels and um, after touching on those resistance levels going short and with the euro dollar bouncing off those support levels to go long possibly next week so next week I'm in a good mood to be buying the euro dollar and I think what we need to do is just keep an eye on that and just run it straight through um, let's follow the markets every day and we'll have a lot of opportunity to trade just as usual have a great day